Good morning. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Uh, this is Don V, and welcome to Truth Be Told. We have a couple uh, interesting news reports I'd like to share with you. Uh, before we move on to that, please remember to subscribe. 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. It's completely free. doesn't matter the platform, YouTube, BitChute, Rumble. I have uh, channels with uh, the same name on all three. Uh, be sure to subscribe. doesn't cost you a cent. And I don't do this for the money. It's all about getting that information out uh, and getting this word passed from person to person. So be sure to share, like, thumbs up, you know, give me a plus on the rumble. <laughs> At any rate, without ado, let's move to it. It says, Colin Powell dies at 84 from COVID complications. He was fully vaccinated. Well, we all know why he's not around now. Uh, General Colin Powell, former Secretary of State, Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, died today from coronavirus. He was fully vaccinated. Powell was an esteemed member of the Uniparty who worked for Bush and then endorsed socialist Barack Obama twice. Fox News reported. General Colin Powell, the influential former Secretary of State, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who played a pivotal policy role during the administration of then-President George W. Bush died Monday at 84 from complications related to COVID-19, his family announced. We have lost a remarkable and loving husband, father, grandfather, and a great American, his family said in a statement, adding that he was fully vaccinated. Statement continued, we want to thank the medical staff at Walter Reed National Medical Center for their caring treatment. Well, there goes the other. All right, moving on. The red state, it says, uh, as Biden's ratings plummet, Obama tries to save him from himself. I uh, can't stand that traitor. All those heady old days, Barack and Joe, Joe and Barack. Joe fancied himself as Barack's Sundance kid. Barack once warned, don't underestimate Joe's ability to F things up. Either way, here's how Creepy Joe saw his relationship with Barack. Creepy. BFS. In Joe's mind, that is until Obama passed him over and backed Hillary in 2016, deeply hurting his old wingman, about whom Obama also reportedly said, you know who really doesn't have it? Joe Biden. That was then, this is now. Biden goes from crisis to crisis as his favorable ratings continue to swirl down the toilet. From his border crisis, to his disaster in Afghanistan, to his economy, to his rising inflation rate, his soaring cost of gasoline, and his supply chain crisis. Corn Pops Powell almost appears to be purposely messing things up, everything he gets his hands on. To Obama's earlier point, his old pal just doesn't have it. Enter Barack Obama, valiantly galloping atop his great white winking uh, steed to come to Joe's rescue and save the Democrat Party. The crowd cheers, hope is in the air. Everyone lives happily ever after in a renewed state of bliss as the presidency of Joe Bi Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is resurrected and Chicago Jesus Barack the Magnificent Obama victoriously returns to his self-gilded uh, throne. Closed curtain. Back to reality. As reported by the Washington Examiner, Obama has reemerged and is attempting to gin up enthusiasm for Biden's flagging presidency and other Democrats as Biden struggles to unite the de demon rats, much less the country behind the radical left agenda. agenda. Here's more via the Examiner. Most Democrats have welcomed Obama's reemergence following a break after his book tour, but his presence raises questions about Biden's ability to lead the party as infighting threatens to derail his priorities including a climate action in congress top democrats have realized they do not have the luxury of worrying about biden's feelings if his old boss overshadows him on the campaign trail just me or do you see barney fife and andy taylor here too <laughs> yeah here's how political analyst dan uh, schnur put it as transcribed by the examiner Obama is the most popular politician in the country right now. <laughs> what rock did this guy crawl out of? And any Democratic candidate who is relying on support from swing voters need him. 
This is why it's happening in Virginia right now. But next year, you'll see Obama campaigning in these key districts in addition to or instead of, of Slow Joe. Snur's reference to Virginia was in part based on Democrat gubernatorial nominee and former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe's tight race with Republican rival, as noted by the examiner. Obama will caucus for McAuliffe prior to the off-year November 2nd election. Any Biden's ratings, as I mentioned? Oh, those ratings. As we reported on Saturday, Biden's ratings are sinking like the Titanic. In the latest Zogby poll of likely voters, his job performance rating has fallen to a new low of 36.4%, as the examiner noted. Obama's job performance rating at roughly the same point in his presidency was a 52% approval and 41% disapproval. Not to beat an almost dead horse, but as Obama said, Joe ain't got it. Washington Examiner also touched on the complicated relationship between Obama and Biden, which was never the bromance promoted by the White House over the course of their administration, hence Biden's silly bracket on Obama's birthday, or bracelet <laughs> bracket. Obama told Biden he didn't have to run for the presidency in 2020, particularly as any sort of a legacy thing. And you might recall, Obama declined to weigh in during the primary. Biden, on the other hand, has always fancied himself as Barack 2.0. One more time, sorry Joe, that dog doesn't hunt. Yet, Jennifer, uh, Jen Circleback Baskey, the White House press secretary and spinner extraordinary, recently said as transcribed by the Washington Examiner, Obviously, the current president and former president are friends and they engage on a regular basis. Uh-oh, circle back. Put your lipstick back in your purse. Exactly. Well, guys, both these guys make me sick. They're nothing but a couple traitors, in my opinion. And I have the rights to have an opinion. Uh, he can get out there all he wants. Not going to rescue this tyrant. Uh, we know the truth about what happened. So, uh... He can get out there. He might as well be flying the white flag because it's about time for them to give up. We know who the truly most popular president in history is right now. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. This is Don V. We're broadcasting out of Arizona. Looks like we're a little windy day. A little cool breeze. Might be cool. Hope everybody uh, has a wonderful Monday and we are out of here.